Hi, welcome to this video from Not Real Engineering. And in this video, we are going to see the basic analysis of truss using Abacus CAE. Before I start, it is important to understand what is truss. So truss is a thin line-like structure as shown over here in this example, which can support only axial loads. So truss can undergo only compressive or tensile loading and truss cannot support any movements or any forces perpendicular to the axis of truss. If you want bending movements or shear forces to be considered, you have to use beams instead of truss, which we will see in next video. So for this example, length of each segment is 50 meters and cross section area is one meter square. The left end is fixed as shown over here and the right end has roller supports and we are applying concentrated force at two points as shown in the figure. We are assuming steel as material of stress. So material properties are given over here. And in this video, we will stick with SI units. So we'll use units from this column. Let's start. After selecting the working directory, let's create the part. It should be 2D planar wire part. Continue. You can create truss using these line segments. You can either input the coordinates or just select like this. We can change the dimensions later. Now select the dimension tool and give the dimension each segment is 50. Don't worry about the distortion. It will adjust itself later. And here note that you don't have to give dimensions to all segment. This is enough. If you give dimension to one more segment, it will give you over constraint. So we don't need that. So delete that one. This is enough. Say OK. The part is created. Go to materials. I'm creating steel material. Young's model, this is 200 gigapascal. And poison's ratio is 0 0.3. Next, create a section. I'm going to name it as truss section. Now in beam category, you will find truss section. So select that. Cross section area is one meters per square. Material is steel. Now assign the section to whole structure. Go to assembly, create an instance. Next, go to step. Just create a static general step. You don't have to change anything over here. Then go to load. Now first we will fix this end. So for that, go to initial step name it as fixed end go into symmetry continue select this point and just fix it so all degrees of freedom zero then to provide a roller support on right hand side go to step one say roller end and go to displacement select that point and we don't want any displacement in U2 direction. So U2 zero. Now to apply load, choose concentrated force, select this point. And now here value should be minus 1000 for CF2 because the load is in downward direction. Repeat the process one more time. minus 1000 done then let's go to mesh first select the part then seed part now i'm going to use one element for one segment so i will seed it with global size of 50. you can see only one element is created then apply the element type now by default you will see over here beam is selected but go down and select truss. Then mesh it. Go to job, create a new job. And just submit it. And job is completed. Go to results. And you can choose this to plot contours on deformed shape. 
so you can see because of load over here it deformed in downward direction and there is one load over here also so you don't see a symmetry you can see the displacement as well you can see the maximum displacement is over here this point doesn't have any displacement because we fixed it and if you see the displacement in u2 direction this point also does not have any displacement and again this figure is of course the exaggeration so if you go over here in common options you can scale the deformation you can choose uniform and select one if you say apply this is your actual deformation so actually truss is deforming very little because it's a steel but we are just exaggerating for visualization anyway that's it for this video in next video we will solve a beam problem and we will see how to write a report as well for this output parameters if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching